Hello, my name is Adam Bean, and today I would like to play a little bit with Nashorn. And um, to start playing, what I will have to do to set up Nashorn properly, and you can do this with in the HTML JS tab in NetBeans. And what I'm going to do is to set the scripting option, which makes it a really really interesting. So it is um, Nashorn then is set to um, to scripting mode, which is really nice. So then I will create a um, a JavaScript library project and call it, uh, of course, Nashorn. And um, yeah, I don't like any frameworks, so nothing is going to be built. Uh, but the funny story is what I get here is a main.js file, which can be used for implementing JavaScript. So let's try something simple. Function hello, of course. And we can use print. We are not in the browser, there is no console. And say, hey. And um, I will invoke the function and try to run it. And as you can see, hey, not that bad. So it seems to work. And um, yeah, what you can of course also do, I can set a variable uh, name equals Duke and it's a string and I could do and say yeah, hey, and what Nashorn is able to do is to, um, uh, to replace the variable in a string. So I will run it, and it's not Duke rather than name. Again, run. hey Duke seems to work. So, but it's getting even better. So um, Nashorn comes with some pre-built variables, like for instance, env. So, what I could do, let's, I could say uh, it is actually env. So, um, and say environment is uh, my envs, environment entries is env. And now I can say for each e in envs. This is a nice Nashorn extension. And I would like to print it out. And uh, the dollar um, e. And let's see whether it works. So as you can see, are all my environment entries. So this is pretty useful for automation, for instance. And uh, what's also very useful is this here, exec. So what exec does, it executes a script. So I can say, show me the contents of the folder and the results you will find in out. So I can say for result equals out and then print. Uh, result. So run it and you see my folders. So um, and of course Nasson comes with Java 8 so what we can also do we can say var date equals uh, new Java util date And say print date and here's my date. So you can seamlessly integrate Java code to Nashorn and of course you can integrate Nashorn to Java code but then I will have to start with a Java project. And the best of all is I can debug the whole thing. So I can go here and say debug and it will stop here. So I have the complex scope. So I see, you know, the, uh, uh, all the variables here, or also the global scope. And it can step by step the execution. So I should see the result here. You see the results, all the folders. And this is actually a big thing because um, prior to NAS one, I um, automated lots of 
uh, my server stuff with bash but now i can actually debug the whole stuff so i can use uh, uh, javascript and java to uh for automation which is uh, a really big thing uh to me and uh what's also possible this is the last thing uh, you can implement interfaces with um last one and this works like this var run equals new runnable new java lang runnable but i will have to implement it using a function and to do this i will use the um the implement the function run and this is going to be uh print execute me yes and now i can say run dot run and run it execute me so what this is i was able to execute uh, to implement the runnable this is also unique uh, nas one syntax with uh, with uh, javascript function execute me so nice stuff um Nasum comes with a Java 8 and together with NetBeans uh, is really great support to build automation script um, or to implement uh, a JavaScript. Actually, a view of my projects like, for instance, SPG were implemented this way. So look for SPG at GitHub. So thank you for watching and see you on upcoming conferences, workshop or even AirHacks at Munich, Munich Airport. Uh, we are one day HTML5 and I think about thinking about uh, one day JavaScript for Java developers. So thank you and bye.